pause for a moment and take a look at your laptop. Windows, Mac OS, that's what 99% of the world sees, but not in Shenzhen, because Huawei has just launched a new line of PCs, and they've cut Microsoft out of the picture entirely. And they didn't do it quietly. These machines run on Harmony OS Next, Huawei's in-house operating system. No Windows, no Android runtime, no Google services, just pure, homegrown Chinese code. But here's the twist. This isn't a passion project or a quirky alternative. It's a necessity. Years of US sanctions taught Huawei a brutal lesson. Depending on Western technology is a strategic risk. And now for the shocker, this isn't an experimental beta. It's finished. It functions. And it's already on store shelves. So if Huawei can thrive without Windows, what does that mean for Microsoft's dominance in China's 400 million strong PC market? And could this be just the beginning? According to IDC China, Microsoft's PC operating system market share in China has declined from 82% in 2020 to 72% by early 2024, a drop largely driven by government mandates and the rise of domestic platforms. The debut of Harmony OS Next on Huawei's new MateBook X Pro isn't a soft rollout. It's a gauntlet thrown. While Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella has kept quiet, the company opened a new R&D center in Beijing in January 2025, part of what internal strategy documents describe as a response to a sustained erosion of OS dominance across sovereign markets. The real question isn't why Huawei walked away from Windows, it's whether other players will follow. Launched in 2019 as a contingency plan, Harmony OS has evolved into a foundational platform embedded in over 800 million devices by Q1 2025, according to Huawei's latest report. What started on smart TVs and wearables has grown to encompass smartphones, tablets, smart cars, and now full desktop environments. The version driving Huawei's PCs, Harmony OS Next, uses a proprietary microkernel architecture that discards all dependencies on Android or Linux. It's one of the few major operating systems globally built entirely without US code. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal in February 2025, Huawei SVP Wang Chenglu emphasized that the company's goal isn't imitation, but orchestration. A seamless OS where every device acts as an extension of the others. This is no longer about defensive sovereignty. It's a pivot to ecosystem dominance backed by over 10,000 developers. Still, one big question looms. Is Harmony OS Next ready for enterprise workloads, or is it a closed loop experiment scaled too fast? This system is neither a clone nor a fork. It's a clean slate platform, optimized for Chinese hardware, AI accelerators, and distributed computing. While Windows still carries compatibility baggage from the 1990s and Mac OS leans on its Unix base, Harmony OS Next is built on a microkernel with just one file in thousandth the attack surface of traditional monolithic systems. According to cybersecurity firm Kihu 360, that makes it inherently more resistant to zero-day exploits, though independent validation is still sparse. Benchmark tests by the China Software Testing Center in March 2025 reveal that Huawei's new system boots 32% faster than Windows 11 on equivalent hardware, while using 29% less memory during multitasking. Yet the ecosystem is still in its infancy. Only 4,200 native apps exist, compared to Microsoft's 669,000. Whether Harmony OS can compete long-term depends less on technical specs and more on Huawei's ability to close this app gap without tapping into the global software ecosystem it's been cut off from. Reviews of Harmony OS PCs describe an experience of elegant friction. The Verge's China correspondent likened it to using an OS from a parallel universe, silky smooth yet eerily quiet. Technode testing reports average boot times of 8-7 seconds and sub-50 millers app transitions outperforming similarly priced Intel-based Windows laptops. Core applications like Huawei Docs and Pedal Mail function well, but international reviewers flagged serious compatibility gaps. As of March 2025, there are no native versions of Adobe, Zoom, or even WeChat for business. Huawei insists these apps will arrive by year's end, though no official roadmap has been shared. In the meantime, users must rely on Huawei's app gallery, which features just set of the world's top 1,000 desktop apps. That shortfall hits hardest in sectors like education and digital design. For Chinese users, deeply embedded in the domestic tech sphere, the OS feels seamless. For global users, it's more like stepping into a hermetically sealed digital chamber. 
with no obvious way out. Meanwhile, Huawei's high silicon division is manufacturing domestic chips under conditions that defy logic. Despite US restrictions, the Kirin 9006C, built using SMIC's 7mm DUV process, powers Harmony OS PCs with up to 16 cores and a peak speed of 3.1 GHz, according to tech teardown reports. In AI, Huawei's Ascend 910B chips now run over 1,300 data centers across China, with benchmarks showing they can train large language models at 93%, the speed of NVIDIA's A100, though they consume more power. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology reported a 211% year-over-year surge in AI training workloads on domestic chips as of February 2025, indicating a sharp turn toward technological self-sufficiency. Still, analysts like Chris Miller, author of Chip War, caution that Huawei's gains, while notable, aren't yet scalable. Citing yield challenges and the absence of key tools like CUDA or ROCM, the ultimate test isn't just whether these chips run Harmony OS, but whether they can support the full software stack that enterprise workloads demand. Huawei's boldest play isn't its silicon, it's control. Harmony OS isn't just an operating system, it's a distributed platform where CPU, memory, and I.O. resources can be shared across devices in real time. Imagine dragging a file from your phone to your laptop screen, editing it on a tablet, then printing it from your fridge interface, all without relying on cloud services. As of February 2025, more than 230 million devices were connected through Huawei's super device interface, according to their Q1 investor briefing. Tests by the South China Morning Post show a two gigabit file transfers from phone to PC in just two and seconds over Huawei's proprietary near field network, four times faster than AirDrop on identical Wi-Fi setups. This isn't theoretical. Full-stack deployments of Harmony OS are already underway in the Guangdong government offices and Hubei's state-owned banks. But the catch is clear. The seamless experience only works with Huawei hardware. Without it, the magic vanishes. So the real question isn't whether Harmony OS works. It's whether consumers and institutions are ready to commit to every link in the Huawei chain. The launch of Harmony OS Next marks Huawei's boldest move since the 2019 US entity list sanctions which slashed its global smartphone market share from 20 to under 4% by mid-2021, according to Canalys. Now with over 800 million devices powered by Harmony OS and new PCs hitting shelves free from Western software, Huawei isn't trying to reclaim the global tech throne. It's building an entirely new one, rooted in digital self-reliance. Bloomberg reported in January 2005 that Huawei has earmarked $4.3 billion in fresh R&D funding for its OS and chipset divisions, more than twice the combined software budget of Xiaomi and Oppo. China's government has followed suit, issuing procurement directives in seven provinces that urge public agencies to adopt Harmony OS over Windows by Q3 2025. IDC analyst Brian May notes this signals a coordinated push for domestic resurgence, but warns Huawei's global ambitions will depend on whether it can reestablish trust without Google, Intel, or TSMC. This isn't a comeback. It's a reinvention. Apparently, so how is the industry reacting? Outwardly, there's silence. But behind closed doors, alarm bells are ringing. Leaked Microsoft strategy documents obtained by the information in March 2025 label Harmony OS as a serious threat to OS market share in Asia's public and enterprise sectors. In response, Microsoft has been expanding localized Azure layers to better integrate with Chinese systems. Though NVIDIA is barred from exporting high-end chips to Huawei, the company acknowledged in filings that it's monitoring the rise of sovereign AI ecosystems in Asia, a veiled nod to Harmony OS and Baidu's Paddle Paddle framework. According to Reuters, three Fortune 500 software vendors have paused updates to their Chinese apps while assessing long-term Harmony OS compatibility. While these firms publicly downplay the shift, an AWS executive quoted by the Wall Street Journal admitted, we underestimated how fast China's building a stack we don't control. And that's the point. Harmony OS is forcing Silicon Valley to imagine a future where they're no longer writing the rules. This isn't just survival without Google and Microsoft. It's a redefinition of what essential software even is within China's walls. With Western tools inaccessible, Huawei has doubled down on local partnerships. Kingsoft's WPS office, for instance, gained 30 more users in 2024 and now boasts over 560 million actives, according to Kamai data. 
Huawei Cloud saw 28% year-over-year growth, reaching $6.8 billion in revenue as local governments migrated from Azure and AWS. App Gallery still lacks Western productivity powerhouses, but now includes local equivalents for nearly every software category, from Baidu Docs to Petal Mail. Still, Bernstein Research warns that without international developer support, Harmony OS risks becoming a software monoculture, one that could stagnate over time. But Huawei isn't flinching. They're betting that China's domestic market, expected to reach 540 million PCs and smart devices in circulation by 2026, is large enough to fuel continued growth without foreign dependencies. Whether that's resilience or strategic isolation remains to be seen. Harmony OS isn't just a product. It's a pillar in a broader, state-engineered ecosystem designed to sever reliance on foreign tech. Since 2020, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has issued more than 700 patents tied to local OS development. And the government's Secure and Controllable Directive mandates that all critical state IT infrastructure must shift to domestic software by 2027. Huawei's OS dovetails perfectly with this vision. The first full-stack PC ecosystem, from kernel to app store, built, secured, and operated entirely within Chinese borders. The Cyberspace Administration of China has even called Harmony OS a national strategic asset, confirming deployments across transport ministries, telecom regulators, and major state banks. Meanwhile, the U.S. Bureau of Industry and Security has flagged Huawei's OS expansion as a top priority monitoring issue, citing national security and AI risks. But here's the real kicker. If Harmony OS succeeds in building a digitally self-contained universe, it won't just replace Western software, it will render it irrelevant, at least inside China. And if this blueprint proves viable at home, what's stopping Beijing from exporting the model to other surveillance-aligned or sanctioned states? Like this video? Hit the like button, subscribe, and explore more eye-opening tech stories now on your screen.